This is the Transport Museum at Jerby, and it's having some very special guests over the next few weeks. All the school children have been invited up to have a look around and to see all the exhibits that are really crammed into this uh, warehouse up on the Jerby Industrial Estate. Well, we've got uh, Schools Week going on this week at the museum and we're expecting something like 400 uh, young children to come up here. Uh, we bring them up by bus, which we're loaned very kindly by Bus Vanin. Uh, we provide the driver who uh, uh, brings them along. Uh, they come and they do go through two or three exercises here uh, that, depending on their age, uh, will involve you know, colour, number of wheels, this sort of thing. So that um, although the kids think they're having fun in a day out, uh, they're actually learning whilst they're here. And uh, for some of them, transport is part of their curriculum. Uh, so again, to be uh, actually able to clamber onto buses and look at lorries and cars and trams uh, is, is a very real hands-on part of their curriculum experience. And uh, no doubt there'll be some budding bus drivers in there, no doubt they'll get the bug for the whole thing. Oh gosh, yes. I mean, you, know, you see little girls sitting in driving seats and, and they'd drive away this afternoon if they could, yes, yes. Now tell us more about this whole place, because I mean, again, it's, it's one of those things maybe people have thought about coming to or, or, and, you know, haven't. And here we are today showing people some lovely sites, we're looking at those now, and you really have got this place packed with different items. Yes, I mean, we worked very hard on here. We took a lease on the, the hangar from the, the government uh, about three years ago. Uh, we spent the best part of 12 months having to clean it uh, because it was used by a coal company before here, so you can imagine how grubby it was. Um, modifying it for our purposes, um, and then we began to put the vehicles in. Um, and we've been open now, this is the beginning of our third year, and we've had just about 25,000 visitors in that period, uh, which we're quite pleased about. Uh, and what we've got in here is probably the best collection of uh, a single operator's vehicles anywhere in Britain. Uh, so we're really quite proud of that. Um, so we've got buses here, we've got trams, as you can see behind us, uh, we've got the, the Ramsey Pier locomotive and its coaches, we've got some steam vehicles, we've got some lorries. So it's a very eclectic collection of uh, uh, transport uh, items here in, in, in the museum. And, and do you have to buy them or you loan them or what? Uh, well, some of them belong to the government. Uh, they, the, some of the older vehicles Bus Van Inn had kept uh, in store at Homefield. And when they had to vacate Homefield, they came here. And we have long-term arrangements with them to store them, uh, keep them in good order, and ultimately to restore them. Um, and you know, that, that's a long-term project. Um, other people have donated things to us. Uh, some people uh, make contributions to our cost to keep their vehicles here. So there's a, a mixed model, as it were, of, of how vehicles come to be here. I, I know some of your items are not actually here today, but you know, if you're coming up and we're filming, obviously, what yes. would we most go, gosh, wow? I, I think probably, we, we, given that this is the year of the Olympic Games, uh, we've got a bus here that is called an Olympic, uh, built by Leyland in 1948 when the Olympics were last in Great Britain. Um, so you know, here is uh, a link with the past that's really very pertinent to, to 2012. So yes, that's probably something that's worth having a look at. Um, we would rather like the idea of the Olympic torch when it's on the island going with the Olympic bus. So uh, let's, let's live in hope that that works. Okay. Finally, when are you open and when, when can people come? Uh, we're open every Sunday uh, and we open on Saturdays during the, uh, the, the high season and uh, on bank holidays and, and things like that. It's a totally volunteer affair, uh, so if there are people who'd like to come and help us, we're delighted to see uh, the would-be guides and, and so on, um, and people with engineering skills if they want to come and, and, and tinker with buses, yes. <laughs>